Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? A very exhausted and tired Maka here bringing you the Log Lady Achievement Slash Trophy in the Trials Fusion Fires in the Deep DLC. Special thanks goes to Euros who helped me find the remaining locations that I couldn't find on my own. There are a total of nine audio logs, one on each level. We'll be doing these levels in order. The first track on the vestibule, right at the very beginning, you're just gonna back up into the beginning part of the train. And you should be able to find the switch. Now all of them have a switch as far as I know. And you're going to have to step on that switch in order to start it. The second one here on Primordial Peak. We're going to keep bouncing. And you'll get onto this platform about 30 seconds into the, uh, the track. And after bouncing on three platforms that are on their own. You can drop down onto a branch. Back up and activate this audio log. On the third track, Tectonic Jolt. You'll come to this part of the map where this giant drill drills through the map. Um, and then this ramp shows up. Just go very slowly down the ramp. Make sure you come downwards and land on this part. Then you'll need to bail backwards beyond that balcony behind me in order to trigger the switch. So you might have to get a little bit lucky with that. So yeah, do that. Now, audio log number four on section 47. This is near the very, very beginning of the level. You'll jump onto this little platform and it'll start going down. Just stay on this platform. You'll want to probably stay near the right-hand side of it. And on the fourth story down, you'll come to this hole. Make sure you enter the hole very quickly. And you'll start like a mini challenge game type thing. And for this, you're just going to want to continue pr to progress through the level as you normally would. I'm going to take my time here as I was having a not so great run. Um, just use the pipes as you normally would in order to progress. And eventually you'll reach a part where there is a hole in the wall. So you will need to actually use some of the physics of the pipes in order to get um, through the map. Which is one of my least favorite mechanics of trials to be completely honest. Um, again here we're going to have to use the pipe in order to get down. You can kind of do that in one shot but it's probably easier for most people to do it in two shots. So like this just drop down, bam onto there and then wait for this to do two moves and then bam up onto there. Now this is the checkpoint where you're going to need to actually do something in order to get this uh, audio log. What you're going to want to do from the checkpoint, go forward, bail out, fall into that hole, hit the pipe, and then you should fall down directly onto the little button, and you should get your fourth audio log. Next up, number five, Downtown Fracture. You'll come to the part of the map where you are launched into the air. This is pretty early on. You can take the lower route if you want. It doesn't really matter how you get to where we're going. But eventually you'll get to this checkpoint and once you're at this checkpoint uh, you'll see the dock 3 sign directly in front of me you're just going to want to slowly get down and you should see this cassette right there um, just back up to press the button inside of that little tunnel audio log number six on bottom dweller from the very beginning of the map you're going to need to bail out make sure you aim high uh, grab on to that, swing across, then let go, and end up on that button. That looks super easy. It's not as easy as it looks. It took me about 10 minutes. Next up, deeper underground. You'll come to the part of the track where we did the Curiosity Kill the Cat achievement slash trophy with the first person maze. We're going to have to bail out at that checkpoint in order to begin the first person maze. And we're going to have to get all the way to the end of the maze, similar to Curiosity Kill the Cat. But instead of going into the room with the giant chain that has an elevator in it, before entering that room, we're going to take a right-hand turn in the hallway, and you'll see a small bush poking out of a wall, and we'll take another right-hand turn in order to reveal the audio log. I will not be doing a commentary through this entire section of the maze, as I don't think it's necessary. So I'll join you guys back up when we start audio log number eight. Just pay attention to the maze and make sure you follow exactly as I'm doing.
All right, guys, audio log number eight. The next map here is Iron Incendiary near the beginning of the map. You should be progressing through. You'll notice uh, there's this giant chain. We'll drop down. We'll continue a little bit forward. We'll end up on here. We'll end up on here. And then we'll end up on this pipe. And you'll see a small hole in the wall right there. You're going to need to bail in it. And then you're actually going to need to bail through the things that are blocking it. And you'll have to end up with your character inside of the hole or else it won't count. So the first time it didn't actually count for me, this time it did count because my character actually ended up on the button and it revealed the audio log. The last audio log here on Charred Remains, this is the extreme track, so you're going to need to be at least decent enough to somewhat complete an extreme track. You don't need to be that great, this is a pretty easy extreme track, so you shouldn't have too many problems. Just progress to what I believe is the fifth checkpoint here, as you see me doing. Um, and then once we get onto this checkpoint right here on this vat, you'll actually need to do a bailout method. Um, this might take you a few tries. Just uh, line yourself up on this ramp, slowly go up, and then once you reach the, the top with a decent amount of speed, just bail out, go up and behind yourself over that balcony lip, and you'll land on the button. That should unlock your achievement or trophy, worth 50 gamer score, a silver trophy on the PlayStation. Thank you guys for watching. If this was helpful to you, please press that like button to show me the support you have for me staying up and being so exhausted I can barely think. That would be super appreciated. You can also subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you then. Peace.